Leisha de Bruyne, CEO of the Countess. Can you tell us what the event here today is about? The event, the vision for the event is um, so that we can essentially understand, unite and resist gender ideology. And so what that means, our proposition today has been to give an offering of some of the foremost minds and experts so that together we can kind of go on a journey and really explore the impact of gender ideology on Irish society from culture to sport to prisons to single sex spaces to schools, education, indoctrination. And I think that's what we've done here today. I'm absolutely thrilled with the turnout despite the best efforts of the trans rights extremists who barricaded themselves around the entrance. One woman unfortunately was assaulted but um, despite all of these like setbacks, we made it, we made it happen. And I'm absolutely thrilled. This is a landmark moment in the movement in Ireland. And you've drafted um, amendments to the GRA. Can you explain a little bit about the process of that? Um, so I always had in my sight this idea that we would amend the GRA instead of repeal it. And that's kind of just from my legal knowledge of the jurisprudence. You know, we can never go beyond, for now at least, we can't go beyond um, the UK and our Irish test cases, which were uh, fought and won at a European level. And European law just has primacy. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. But I would say they were quite much more narrow focused than the legislation that we ended up with. So what we should do, I think, is a interim measure is amend the GRA so that we chip away at it until it's no longer, it's just a piece of paper. Because currently, I view it as an access all area pass for predators. You know, it gets you into female prison. It gets you into female intimate spaces. And that is not okay in any ordinary, you know, normal, reasonable person's mind. Um, so I feel like it's really important that we work legislatively. It's much better to have something done, some legislative work done, a bill you can put in front of a TD and say, can you get behind this? And also I feel as well, you know, in terms of the argument and the campaign, like no one has ever had to defend the indefensible in Ireland. And the indefensible is putting men who say they're women with the most, in, jail, in prison with the most vulnerable women in our society. Um, so it forces our, really our opponents to defend this. And we saw what happened you know, in Scotland when that debate was finally forced. It is absolutely unconscionable to put women in prison with men and to allow men to use this loophole to access female prison. 